Hello friends, in the last lesson we learned about two ways to find roots of quadratic equation. This lesson we learn about the relation between the roots of a quadratic equation and the coefficients. We know a quadratic equation can have up to two roots. We can generally represent these roots as alpha and beta. So alpha will be the root of the equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero if that satisfies the equation means if we put alpha in place of x that is a alpha square plus b alpha plus c that should be equal to zero from our last video we know completing the square method for finding the roots of a quadratic equation so we can derive a general formula of for finding the roots from that say the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero for completing the square method to work, we need to get rid of coefficient of x square first. So we divide the equation by a on both the sides, both on the LHS and RHS. So we get x square plus b by a into x plus c by a equal to 0. Because 0 by a is equal to 0. Now we need to express the terms with x in the form of x plus a whole square. So we rewrite the second term which is b by a into x as 2 into b by 2a into x and we add b by 2a whole square to complete the square and subtract that to balance so the equation will be x plus b by 2a whole square minus b by 2a whole square plus c by a so c by a remains same way and x square plus b by a into x becomes x plus b by 2a whole square minus b by 2a whole square so this equation is now x plus b by 2a whole square minus b by 2a whole square plus c by a equal to 0 further simplification it becomes x plus b by 2a whole square minus b square by 4a square plus c by a equal to 0 for the last two terms we can take 4a square as the LCM so we get minus b square minus 4ac by 4a square so the equation becomes x plus b by 2a whole square minus b square minus 4ac by 4a square equal to 0 we can take b square minus 4ac by 4a square to the other side so it becomes x plus b by 2a whole square is equal to b square minus 4ac by 4a square now we can take square root on both the sides so it becomes x plus b by 2a is equal to plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac by square root of 4a square which is equal to 2a now we take b by 2a on the left hand side to the other side so it becomes x equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so we get the value of x that is the value of roots of the equation plus minus sign means there are two possibilities one with plus sign and one with minus sign so one of the root alpha will be equal to minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a remember square root is on b square minus 4ac and the other root beta will be equal to minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a now we can find the roots of a quadratic equation just by looking at the coefficients a b and c we don't need to go through the long process of factorization or completing the square method we will see if this formula works or not in the next lesson bye bye